one of my favorite things in my closet is actually when you first come in. I love this so much that I actually got one for both of my daughter's closets. It's my jewelry organizer. Like I wanna point out how slim this is. So if you don't have a lot of space, this is going to fit in your closet. It has a full length mirror on the front. And then when you open it up, it completely has all of your jewelry nice and organized. There's some lights at the top. There's all these nice sections that have this kind of like black velvet in there. I'm able to fit so much in here. I absolutely love it. This area, you can just kind of put things that don't really fit. Like if you have cuff bracelets, I keep all of my earrings up top. And then for like the dangly earrings, you can put those over there, bracelets here, and then you can just hang more items down here like your necklaces. And then it also even has a few drawers at the bottom. I found these lights off of Amazon and I'm really excited to put them in my closet because they are motion sensor lights. So if you have areas in your house or your closet that have dim light, you can't see very well, you can put these motion sensor lights. They're kind of like those touch lights and you can also get them with remotes, but this, if they detect motion, they're gonna turn on. So this is awesome for a closet area. So everyone has been trying this new t-shirt folding hack that's supposed to only take three seconds to fold your shirt. And I was skeptical about it, but this is a really cool hack. So what you're gonna do is lay your t-shirt out flat. Then you're going to place one hand at the top, wherever the collar is on one side, and then at the bottom about the same side. You're gonna pick the shirt up and then you're gonna flip it down over on top of itself. Then you're gonna hold it in the middle flip it in half and lay it flat. I'm telling you, this really did only take three seconds to do. It was super easy. I found this acrylic organizer because I was needing something to organize clutch purses and my belt bags because I've been buying quite a few belt bags this year. So I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to store your purses. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is organizing. Now, if you don't have a dresser and you have a lot of shelves in your closet and that's what you use to store the majority of your clothes, I think an awesome item to try out are these acrylic organizers. I didn't think I needed these, but I've had them now a year and I'm telling you, they help keep my clothes nice and organized. So I use these acrylic organizers to kind of section off my leggings from my jean shorts. These are all my joggers. And then down here I have like sweatshirts sectioned off as well. These help so much if you have folded items. And even like my husband over here in his section, he has them like dividing up his, like these are his shorts and his t-shirts and then he has like his pants right here so it's a great way to kind of divide things up the pack that i'll link for you guys down in the description box has i think eight in there so these are a great option and i do want to remind you guys everything i'm talking about i will link for you in the description box there's a little arrow over here click that and in the description box you'll see links to all these products you can click on and it'll take you directly to amazon I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this jewelry organizer. This was a Dollar Tree DIY I did, gosh, probably two or three years ago. I'm gonna show you really quickly how you put that together. Grab a Dollar Tree frame, then you're going to get some of the shelf liner that's like a white mesh. You could use a colorful one as well. And you're gonna take out the glass and put in that white mesh, put the backing back on your frame, and then just use some command strips to hang it on the wall. Then they're perfect for putting in earrings. So your earrings will just fit in here perfectly. This is such a great system and so affordable. So I have this little corner over here that's kind of like my beauty corner. I have a lot of hair products, all of my makeup's down in this little Alex drawer that you can get at Ikea. Delady thought this next hack was a little funny. <laughs> Just a little bit, but I think it's genius, you guys. So you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. I found these remote organizers off of Amazon. They come in a pack of two. Well, every time I come into my closet, I always have my phone with me and I set it down somewhere random. Like I'll put it like up here, you know, I like shove it over here. Sometimes I even like lay it right there, which is ridiculous. And then I always come back in here. I'm like, where is my phone? So I thought, what if I put one of these remote organizers right here by the light? And then that way, when I come into 
into the closet, I could put my phone in there. I have two of them, so maybe even like one of them, I could store some skincare or my deodorant or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. These are really easy to attach to the wall. They just have a little sticky back here. So I'm gonna pull that off and I'm gonna stick it right next to my light fixture. And if for some reason I wanna remove it, I always can at a later time. It's perfect. I'm now not going to lose my phone because I walk around and I listen to podcasts and it's always going. We decided to just put one up. So we're going to keep it one for now. I may add the other one later. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.